What is up, you disgusting invaginated penises? I'm McStud. Let me tell you something. If you don't know what an invaginated penis is, Google it. Trust me, you will love me for it. And first. Oh, oh, oh. Fucking tasty goddamn motherfucking beverage. It's goddamn Tuesday, bitches. Did you watch Monday Night Football? The Chiefs and the Chargers that sucked a bag of dicks. Chargers won. 19 to 16. Mm. That is motherfucking delicious. Mm. Invaginated penises. Boy. I describe it, but then it would ruin it for, for you guys to Google it. I I didn't know what that was till uh just a little bit ago. I figured I would uh use it for my video. Mm. So hope you guys are having a good week. Worked a little overtime today, get overtime tomorrow and overtime Thursday, and hopefully not Saturday. Um, I did have a revelation today. You know, uh, back back to the, the dudes talking at motherfucking urinals, you know. Uh, my revelation was good. You know, the dudes that talk to other dudes at the urinals are the kind of dudes who take a shit, wipe their ass, and then jerk off with the shitty toilet paper afterwards. You disgusting fucks. Shut your fucking mouth, take a piss, get the fuck out of the bathroom. No one needs innocent conversation at the fucking urinal. I sure as hell don't. Go fuck yourself. <clears throat> oh, yeah. So I know it's a bit early for this, but if you saw Mommy kissing Santa Claus and Mommy was married, what happens then? Does Daddy get to fuck the tooth fairy? I mean, what kind of motherfucking whore says the hell with my husband? I'm going to empty Santa's sack. And this poor fucking child has to see all of this. What if Santa end up nailing the kid's mom under the mistletoe? You know? Ho, ho, ho. That's fucking traumatizing. And Santa's a fucking asshole, first and foremost, for doing that. Because he knows this bitch is married and still doesn't give a fuck. Santa's all-knowing. He knows if you're naughty or nice. He went to the naughty bitch's house. For sure. Oh, Mr. Joy of Christmas, my ass. He's a flying man whore with a ton of motherfucking toys. Probably sex toys, too, that he uses on these bitches. Fucking disgusting. Anyways, why the fuck are we talking about Christmas? That's that's a bit of ways. It's about to be motherfucking Halloween. You know what? I'm just going to fucking send Leatherface up to the North Pole to fix this situation. Buzz, buzz, Mr. Claus. Eat that in your fucking stocking. <clears throat> That is a tasty King Cobra. That's what your mom said after I stuck my dick in her mouth. Anyways. I was thinking back. I was in the cereal aisle today. You know, I, I, I didn't find a single box of cereal that had a fucking toy in it. You remember back in the day, like, cereals all had fucking these little toys, little cheesy fucking things, little collectible things you can get out of the fucking box, you know. And you might, you can either get it and you dig through your fucking cereal when you get the box or you wait till it. Paul falls out in your fucking bowl when you're pouring it. Um, I was thinking, why can't we have uh, adult cereals with adult toys in them now? I mean, I guess you'd have to sell these cereals online or at the adult novelty stores or some shit, but that's okay. <coughs> you know, and there's tons of possibilities, and I think it would be fun. I mean, like, let's, let's say uh, you get you a box of fucking colonos, and bam! There's a purple butt plug at the bottom. Fucking score. You know, and you remember the cereal kicks? Nah, we're we going to name this motherfucker Dicks. Open him with that box, and what do you find? A vibrating cock ring. Fuck yeah. Right in my ass. Um, let's see. You ever hear of boner flakes? You can get a variety of motherfucking toys in there, I think. Like, uh, like, uh, pocket rockets. Maybe some nipple clamps. Uh, even double-sided dildos, fuck, I mean, they go on big sometimes, this is a big box of fucking boner flakes, and let's not forget the backdoor crunchies, you know what I'm saying, uh, little chocolate buttholes that you can eat all day long, and what can you get in that box, you know, that's, that's a good question, and I'm glad you guys asked, even though you really didn't, but, uh, let's see, backdoor crunchies offers, uh, I believe small tubes of anal ease, and the gray wolf anal plug and ear set, if you, have, if you don't know what that is, check it out. <clears throat> and let's not forget the freaks out there. You know, 
Go get you a box of uh, BDS and M's. Think you have a chance at a ball gag, handcuffs, or the triple bead anal hook, which, ooh. You guys remember Texas Chainsaw Massacre and the meat hooks he puts these motherfuckers on? Think of the triple bead anal hook like that, but with like a little butt plug thing on the where the the hook is. But yeah, fucking adult cereals. Let's fucking do it. Oh boy, that would ooh. What if someone hung you up by that? Oh fuck, we're five minutes and thirty seconds in. Well, I'm gonna get off here. I uh, made me some brown rice and chicken, seasoned with uh, some Cajun seasoning for dinner. It's just in there waiting for me. I'm gonna eat it here in about an hour or two. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm gonna jump off. And remember, kids, if she poops from her coochie, then give her a delicious peanut butter cream pie or some shit like that. Anyways, motherfuckers, I'm McStud. I'll catch you bitches later. Deuces. Uh.